Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another kind of tattoo related video for you guys. So as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about what you need to buy slash purchase or whatever before you go and get a tattoo. Now, if you're someone who has been getting tattoos for years, you guys probably already have these supplies, but if you're someone watching this video and you have never gotten a tattoo before and you're not really sure how to take care of it and you're not really sure what to buy, then this video is absolutely perfect for you. I have done many, many tattoo videos like this in the past, like what I bring with me when I get tattooed, how to prepare for tattoos and piercings, every video like that that is in my tattoo playlist, which I will link somewhere in this video, either in the corner here or down below or wherever. But this video, we're just strictly gonna be talking about the things you need to buy and things you need to have handy before you go and actually get a tattoo. So the first thing I wanna say is obviously when you go and get a tattoo, there is definitely some aftercare that comes with it. And if you don't take care of your tattoo properly, then I mean, to put it simple, I mean, you're just an idiot because taking care of a tattoo is very important. You don't wanna risk getting any sort of infection or any nasty bacteria in there. So really taking care of your tattoo and your skin is very, very important after you get a tattoo. Typically the healing process for a tattoo kind of varies for everybody. Um, and it also kind of depends on the size. If you're getting like a really, really big piece all in one sitting, sometimes it can take up to a month or more to fully heal because obviously, you know, after you get through the initial like, you know, painful, itchy peeling stage, you do kind of have like a shine over over the tattoo and that is that does kind of mean that it is still healing. So, but I mean, if you're just getting like a really, really small tattoo, maybe only like a couple of weeks. So it just kind of all depends on your body, the kind of tattoo you're getting, um, how much detail work is in the tattoo. Like if you're getting a portrait compared to like, you know, getting a four leaf clover behind your ear, like obviously that's different. So it is gonna be different for everybody, but regardless, no matter the size, no matter the location, there is always aftercare when it comes to getting tattoos. So the first thing that I have on my list of things that you need to get before you go and get a tattoo is antibacterial soap. Now this, I just have it in my little soap container here, but anything that is um, unscented, it doesn't have the little beads in it, and it has to be antibacterial soap because washing your tattoo is a part of the aftercare. Uh, usually some people will wash it the night that they get their tattoo before they go to sleep, or some people will wash it the next day, but it is very important to wash your tattoo soon after you get it, just so you can get the initial kind of like yucky, filmy stuff off of it. And it is on your skin, it is your skin, so the cleaner that you do keep your skin, the better. So antibacterial soap, it's really, really easy. Just in like really cold, kind of like room temperature water, you definitely don't wanna use hot water because you will learn very quickly that that hurts like a bitch. But in just kind of like cool or room temperature water, just kind of very lightly get your tattoo wet. You don't want to like submerge it underwater for long periods of time. So just get it a little bit damp. Take just the tiniest amount of soap on your finger or on your two fingers or whatever. Again, it all kind of depends on the size of the tattoo. And just very, very lightly, you don't want to use a lot of soap because that can kind of dry out the skin and that can cause you to lose more ink. So just very, very lightly take the soap and just very lightly massage the area. You don't have to do this for like five minutes or anything. Just give it a quick little wash with the soap rinse it off, and then when you get out of the shower, very lightly pat it. Now, you are going to be very, very sore, again, depending on the size and location of the tattoo. For the first couple of days, you are gonna have a little bit of tenderness, so the more gentle you are, the better. The next thing I have on my list is Aquaphor. Now, I know this does vary from person to person. Some people like to dry heal, which I do sometimes do in my aftercare routine of tattooing. If you guys want a detailed video on dry healing, let me know and I can do a video on that. But I do really like to use Aquaphor. Some people will also use A&D ointment which is what I personally used to use back when I first started getting tattoos, but I very quickly learned that A&D ointment can actually kind of dull the color of the tattoo and it can kind of like suck some of the ink out. So I did recently switch to Aquaphor a few years ago to heal my tattoos. So basically after I get in the shower and I lightly wash my tattoo with antibacterial soap, I will go in with just a little tiny bit of Aquaphor on my finger and really rub it in the tattoo. You don't, again, you don't wanna to put too much on because you will wake up to an absolute inky mess and you don't want that. So just take a very, very little bit amount. And again, this is going to hurt. Usually I will have like a friend or someone help me do this because I am kind of a pussy when it comes to tattoo pain. 
and it can sometimes be a little bit tender to rub the aquaphor in on the tattoo so but you really want to make sure that you're rubbing it in really really good you don't want to have a very thick layer you want to have as thin of a layer as possible but you want to have enough to cover the full surface area of the tattoo this is going to calm the skin this is going to soothe the skin and it is going to help with the healing process now you can get this at any drugstore you can find this in the baby aisle for instance this is baby aquaphor this is excellent to use on your tattoos this is what i personally use and it works great so just regular aquaphor or baby aquaphor and you will probably use this for the first few days of healing and then the next thing that i have on my list is lubriderm and lubriderm is just a dermatologist developed um, daily moisture lotion it is for normal to dry skin you want to make sure that you are getting something that is unscented because if you are using something that's scented it will burn the tattoo and you will be in a very great deal amount of pain and you don't want that so lubriderm and lotion is really really good for tattoos as well because after the first initial few days to a week of using the aquaphor again depending on the size and location of the tattoo you can switch to lubriderm and this is pretty much the same thing but it's a little less messy but it basically does do the same thing it will moisturize the area it will help the peeling process go smoother again once you do get to that kind of peely process of the healing stage you will feel tempted to kind of pick them off definitely don't do that because you could pull ink out of the skin and really kind of ruin the tattoo so just use a little bit of lubriderm whenever you're feeling itchy or a little bit peely and as you're rubbing the lotion into the tattoo it will kind of help ease the itch and it will help the peeling process go smoother now again same with the aquaphor you don't want to use a ton of lotion you don't want to over moisturize the tattoo because your body does have natural oils that will do that for you even though the healing process for a tattoo can be quite drying and uncomfortable using just a little bit of lotion will definitely help lubriderm is my ride or die i also use this as just my regular hand lotion it's absolutely great and this is excellent for tattoos so i highly recommend you get some of this again everything that i am showing you in this video can be found at any drugstore any walmart you know whatever for very very affordable so you definitely don't have to spend an arm and a leg for your aftercare if you know what i'm saying aftercare is very inexpensive for a tattoo the next thing that i have on my list of things that you need to buy before getting a tattoo is good old paper towel um, paper towel you can get pretty much anywhere for a really affordable price and i say paper towel because this is more of a hygiene issue because when you do get a tattoo and you do clean it and after you're done cleaning it and you go to pat it dry it is much much cleaner and it is much more hygienic to use a clean piece of paper towel every single time you go and get a tattoo because if you're using you know the same towel that you use when you get out of the shower or you're using a hand towel that you use to like wipe your counter down or wipe your mouth after you get done brushing your teeth that obviously can harbor a lot of bacteria and a lot of yuckiness that you do not want to get on a fresh tattoo now i know there's going to be people who are like save the planet don't waste you know that's fine but me i like to be as hygienic as possible when it comes to cleaning and healing my tattoos so i will just take a one strip of paper towel and whenever i'm done you know washing it with antibacterial soap or you know using my aquaphor and i do need to blot it i will just use a single thing of paper towel just kind of wrap it around the area and just lightly blot and peel it away and throw it away it's much cleaner it's much healthier and you will you'll be more thankful for it in the long run because if you use a nasty hand towel on your fresh tattoo and you get an infection it's all over okay <laughs> infected tattoos are not a good time 10 out of 10 don't recommend the next thing that i have on my little list of things you need to buy before you go and get a tattoo is cling wrap and or electrical or duct tape and a lot of you are probably like what the hell is that for now this isn't necessary for everybody this is something that i personally like to do every time i go and get a new tattoo and i either have to work the next day or a couple days after getting a tattoo my job um, i work around a lot of hot liquids i am a barista i'm always using my hands and a great majority of the tattoos that i get are in very open areas such as my arm or you know my leg or whatever the case may be 
and every time I do have a healing tattoo, I do like to wrap it in cling wrap while I am at work. So after in the morning before I leave for work, I will put a little bit of aquaphor on my tattoo if it is still in that very new healing stage. And I will take just a little bit of this cling wrap, you know, just that like clear saran wrap kind of stuff. And I will take the desired amount that I need to fully wrap and cover the tattoo. And I will use like either electrical tape or I just, I had duct tape nearby, so I just grabbed this, but electrical tape work, works really, really well. Again, both of these things are very easy to find and very affordable. So after I put the cling wrap on, I will just take a little bit of electrical tape and just kind of wrap it. Like when I was healing this portion of my sleeve, I would wrap it from my wrist to my elbow in cling wrap and I would put a little bit of tape here and a little bit of tape here just to kind of hold it in place all day. So just in case something hot were to spill on my arm or something were to like bump into my arm, I wouldn't have to worry about my tattoo getting burned or scratched or you know anything like that. So it's just kind of another little protective barrier that I personally like to use. Um, I will also do the same method the first night I am sleeping with my new tattoo because that's when I kind of like bleed and leak, I guess you could say the most. So I will definitely do this every once in a while. You don't want to do this technique for the whole healing process. I mean, unless of course you are using Tegaderm to heal your tattoo, which I did do a video on. But it is always really good to let your tattoo get some fresh air, some oxygen. You don't want to keep it smothered in cling wrap for the whole healing process because, again, that can collect bacteria, that can cause an infection, and like I said before, you don't want that. And the last two things that I have on my list, the first one is old bed sheets. You don't want to sleep with a new tattoo with brand new, you know, Egyptian cotton bed sheets because I guarantee you're going to wake up the next morning and you're going to see a nice imprint of your tattoo on your brand new sheets. I remember when I got my tigers done, it was this tiger in particular and I had went to sleep and the next morning I woke up and there was a nice beautiful tiger face right on my bed sheet. So leaking and things like that and ink and you know whatever, especially if you use too much aquaphor or too much lotion, that can also kind of happen, but it's more or less the first night for me when I am getting a tattoo that I will leak a lot. So make sure that you do have a, you know, a set of old bed sheets. You don't really care too, too much about that way you can just put them on your bed. And then if you do wake up with a little bit of a mess, it won't be that big of a deal. Again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just something that I personally like to do. And then the last thing that I have on my list, this kind of goes along with the old bed sheets, is just get some old clothes to wear to bed. Again, you don't want to wear, you know, a brand new $200 pair of pajamas to bed that night because if you do happen to wake up with a little bit of a leaky mess, I can guarantee you will have ink or a perfectly shaped imprint of your tattoo on your brand new clothes. So usually for the first few days, just wear a bunch of old clothes that you don't really care too much about, that you can sleep in, that you won't be totally heartbroken if you wake up with a little bit of an imprint or ink on your clothes. Okay, everyone, and that is everything that I have on my list of things that you should buy before getting a tattoo. I may have left a few things out, but everything that I showed you in this video or talked about in this video is everything that I personally use, again, Everything will be different for everybody. Some people may heal their tattoos a little bit differently, which is totally fine. If you guys use something that you really want to share, go down in the comments and share what you personally like to use to heal your tattoos. There are many, many, many different ways to heal your tattoos. So just because someone may do it a little bit differently than you, let's not attack each other in the comments. Let's try to educate people. Let's try to help people who are maybe new to the tattoo world and don't really know what to do. So if there is something that you do want to add, make sure you go down and add it in the comments of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was helpful for some of you. If you guys did in fact enjoy this video, make sure you go down and give me a huge, huge thumbs up. It really, really does help my videos and my channel. You guys have no idea. And also if you guys are new to my channel and you're just kind of scrolling onto this video, I do upload every three to four days on this channel. Make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you go down and follow me on all of my social media links. As always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys and happy healing!